I just have to ask you, have you literally looked into or had someone look into or are they still looking into for you whether you can do warp drive? I mean, really, yeah, does that um, crush actually your mind? Is a, well, you know, there actually be does seem to be, oddly enough, some breakthrough on the whole warp drive thing because um, you can't exceed the speed of light. But technically, it is possible, theoretically possible, to warp space itself so that even on your, in, your, in your local space-time continuum, you're not traveling faster than the speed of light, but you're, you're warping space such that space is moving. Uh, and, and that's okay, what... Okay, got that? Is that a... <laughs> now, wait a minute. I actually kind of That's because you like Star Trek. It. He goes to the Star Trek Museum in Las Vegas, so <laughs> let's not talk about is, is that like in the fourth quarter or <laughs> next, next year? Um, well, I'm not sure if, if war drives ultimately... I mean, war drive may or may not uh, come, to, come to fruition, but I think if we at least have a base on, on Mars, that's going to create a, a forcing function for the improvement in space transport technology um, and gives us the best chance of ever achieving something like a warp drive that would enable uh, travel easily. Yeah.